Yo, what up, my name is Derek, and I'm going to show you guys how to boost your performance and lower your input lag in Fortnite Season 8 of Chapter 2. Um, this will be kind of a guide that uh, will be updated probably frequently every time there's a new season uh, or, and a new chapter. Um, but yeah, let's get into this. So this pack will be linked in the description. It has a couple files in here, a couple folders, and uh, we're going to do a couple of these. We're also going to uh, talk about all the tweaks you can do on your computer. And uh, for the game, I'm not going to go in-game for this. Um, I have a video for that that shows you the best uh, graphic settings or best in-game settings for Fortnite. Just check out that video. I talk about graphics and stuff in there. But yeah. So first of all, custom windows and ISO. I recommend getting a custom windows and ISO if you don't have one on already. Um, if you don't, uh, these are the two best. So GGOS and then this is a guide, uh, a video that I've linked um, that I've made, which is the best. So I have GGOS here because I think GGOS is the best. And then FoxOS is really good too. Um, but yeah, check out this video if you want to check out that. Um, but yeah, FoxOS will probably give you will give you the lowest latency and give you the best performance. But the compatibility is lacking in it, so I recommend GGOS. Um, and uh, to also install custom Windows Nestle, you just need a program called Rufus. Um, these discords that you can join have... Uh, like links and stuff like that. There's a bunch of stuff in there you can you can monkey around with and look at. Um, but yeah, drivers is the next thing that we're gonna talk about. Um, this is very important. This will pretty much debloat or strip your drivers so that they are not debloated with a bunch of stuff they don't need. Um, so to do this, first of all, if you have if you just download a custom Windows on ISO, you can just install your drivers right away. You won't have a driver installed, but if you do have drivers installed, which you most likely probably will, um, from either like um, if you have a custom Windows ISO and you're downloading and you already have a driver installed, or if you have like a straight Windows install, you're gonna want to uninstall your driver. So you just double click this display driver on start. It's gonna close MSI Afterburner or every any overclocking program that you have. Then what I want to do is want to click on here, click on GPU, make sure you're on the video or AMD, whichever one you have. And uh, I recommend clean and restart or clean do not do not restart, um, whichever one you feel like you want to do. If you don't want to reset your computer, don't reset your computer. Um, a couple of things is the options is very important. Make sure this is this is ticked. If you are planning on restarting your computer, if you aren't going to restart your computer, then you don't need to do this. Um, I also recommend removing physics. And also, if you want a uh, system restore point in case anything goes wrong, here you can start, you can create one. Clean and restart. Click that button. It'll go through, and it will take a couple minutes to do. Once that's done, um, it will restart your computer. If you if you select that, if not, then go to NV Clean Install. And then wait for it to load up all the drivers. But once you've once they've loaded up, just click on manually select a driver version, and click on the 457.30 driver. So 457.30. Press on next. Here, uh, recommended is this. I'm gonna undo physics. Physics is literally like most games already have physics implemented in their um like their engines to use, like Unreal Engine or um, any of the engines that any any game has, they already have physics implemented. It says right here too. So you just need your display driver and that's it. Next, it's going to copy your files or pretty much download the driver from the internet. And after this, it'll ask for a couple additional tweaks that if you want to apply, and we are going to apply a couple of them. I'll show you the best ones. I also have a video about them as well if you want to just check that out too. But I'm just going to show you them here. So once this is done. So done, we wanted to do is display, install uh, telemetry and advertising, perform a clean install, and then do show expert tweaks. You want to tick this one, tick this one. Tick this one and then tick this button right here. Press on next. It's going to install it. Now I'm not going to do it because I don't need to install the driver. So that's all you got to do. It'll, what it'll do is it'll pop up a NVIDIA install uh, graphics driver. Just make sure you do custom and then make sure perform a clean install is ticked. Uh, just for safe measures, just so you can clean it as much as possible. And that's all you got to do. Let that go through, take a couple seconds, and uh, there you go. The next is some tweaks. Now. I will go through the NVIDIA control panel and stuff like that in a second in the video tweaks right here. So just keep that in mind. But anyways, so these are some programs and some tweaks that we're going to run, some registry tweaks that are important. So the first one is ISLC. It's a program you can run on your computer. Uh, once you have it, oh, or 
once you ha once you double click this, it won't pop up. You'll have to go in the bottom right here in the task uh, menu here and double click it. Then it'll open up this thing. I, I recommend uh, this number to be half of what your gigabytes are. So you have 16 gigabytes. Use 8 gigabytes for this. Um, for your time resolution, make sure it is set to 0 0.5. Now, once I even type it in, it'll go like this. Just press the, press the delete key on your keyboard, and then it'll get deleted. Press start, and this should go to 0 0.5. And make sure you tr tick these two so that it launches every time your computer starts up. And uh, that's it. Keyboard latency or tweaks. This will uh, lower your, um, your latency and clicks and, and um, stuff like that. Uh, if you have any problems with missed clicks of your keyboard or any um, keys pressed then lower the number so the higher than or the lower the number the lower latency the higher the number the, the higher latency but if you run into any problems then uh use a higher number this tweak for mouse is pretty much the same thing for these this is just a mouse optimization that i recommend running as well video tweaks here we go so in here uh i recommend running these four right here uh these four reg and then this one is a NVIDIA control panel um, thing that we're going to talk about. So th to get into uh, the control panel section of this video, we're going to go to Profile Inspector, and we are going to run the NVIDIA Profile.exe here. Wait for, wait for this to load up a little bit. Once it's done loading up, we're going to press on this button and then press Import Profiles. Double-click Nanny.nip, and then press OK, Apply, and then uh, we can close this. Now... If you don't, these are just this is just one uh, NVIDIA Profile Inspector file, but there's multiple others you can find. Uh, let me sh show you. I have a link in my Mega down below that shows this Fox OS folder that shows a bunch of profiles in here. There's a bunch of profiles right here you can try out. Uh, most likely, you're not going to really notice that much of a difference. Um, one other thing I'll say about the, uh, this profile is that in Fortnite, if you have NVIDIA Reflex on, okay, and you have a, a capped FPS frame, what it will do is it will use unlimited um, FPS all the time. So what you have to do is you have to disable NVIDIA Reflex. Don't worry, the latency that you lose or that you, you're not, there's not that big of a latency difference, especially for Fortnite. Fortnite is one of the best for latency, um, so there's not really that big of a difference there. So just disable NVIDIA profile, or not video, uh, disable um, the video reflex in Fortnite, and then your your frames will cap back back at like 144, 160, whatever you have it capped at. Um, but yeah, so power tweaks run some of these tweaks as well. Power shell, so or power plant. So power plan is a little confusing because you need to actually import these in here. But for these, the best one is Amit. That's the best one. Now to import these, we need to type in PowerShell on our computer. Press Enter. I'm going to type in power config dash import and then in, in uh, quotations we want to copy the location of the uh, fortnite file so copy like so then i'm going to press on I'm gonna add that little line there and press tab and we want to press enter then it will say import successfully um and uh yeah now to change it go to power plan on your computer go to power options and then just select the one that you imported I imported this one. I'm just going to delete it because I don't need it, but just use it, and it should be good. Amit is, is, is the lowest latency that I've noticed with latency mods, so use Amit or whichever one you want to do. You can test all three of them, see which one's better for you. Next is random tweaks, self-explanatory. Just run the one that has your gigabytes. Registry tweaks, I recommend running most of these, or not if all of these. Uh, you can run, like I said, all of them. Um, one thing that I've noticed is... If I have a thing full screened, it's like if I do this, I can't move this, this, I can't drag this. So there's probably a registry tweak in here somewhere that is kind of limiting that. So if you ever, um, if you guys find that, next one is auto runs. Now, essentially what this is, it is a more uh, in-depth version of like task, um, the task manager startup file. So if you go to task manager, go to startup, it's pretty much a more like in-depth version of this. So you can turn off things like software updates that are in the in the background, like what like what Firefox or Edge or any of these. You don't want them running in the background. Um, you can disable them. There's a lot of things here. But just just untick the ones that are like update services, like Discord updates, um, iCloud and stuff like that. Just disable those so they don't run your computer. 
So after that, we want to type in, we want to go to MSI mode and type in or right click and run it. Now, once you've done that, uh, this will pop up. What I recommend doing is everything that is a um, the graphics card in your internet, make them MSI mode and um, press apply. Now, if you see this number as a positive number and not a negative number, then that means MSI mode is not enabled. So for me, it wasn't enabled for a second, but I just reticked it. So to apply these, you should have to reach your computer and then check it. The final tweak that I'm going to talk about is deleting your Fortnite game folder. So this is already linked here, by the way. You just got to double click this and then delete your Fortnite game file and then just restart your game. Reopen your game and it will save there or it'll show up. This is essentially just going to generate a new Fortnite settings file for you. So there's not ca it's not cached and you bloated. So just do that. Um, there's a couple more tweaks you can do to your computer. So if you go to C drive, program files, Epic game, or no, C drive, program files, Epic games, Fortnite, and then Fortnite game, uh, when binaries, when 64, if you scroll down here, there's going to be four files here. You want to right click each one of them and then change compatibility and disable full screen optimizations for every single one of them. This can do a difference. This might not do a difference for you. Um, it's all based on kind of your uh, Windows version that you're on. Disable full screen optimizations. Boom. Now, there's a couple more things you can do in like the Windows settings to improve your uh, FPS, and that is do go if we go to gaming, you can turn the game mode on or not. I recommend off. Um, on it could be good for if you stream a lot and use OBS could help you. Another thing is a graphics setting. So if we go to gra display and then go to graphics settings, this hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Um, if you turn this on, um, you have to reach your computer for it to take effect. But once you have it on, you can press on browser here too, and then actually find your game. So if we go to program files, Fortnite, Epic Games, all this stuff, we can go here. We actually can click on one of them and then just add them and then do high performance like so. So we do individually. I'm just going to do all of them quick. Just go to options, high performance, options, high performance, and option, high performance. Boom. Now that's pretty much it. Hope you guys uh, liked the video. Uh, if you have any problems, have any questions, let me know in the, in the comments. That link will be in the description for that folder, that zip. Um, you can extract and run those files. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'll do an update one of these. I'll update these every couple of seasons. Uh, if I ever run into like a big tweak or maybe there's a new change in Unreal Engine 5 or something, then I'll let you guys know. But anyways, peace out.